That breaking news at 6, the sister of L.A. Clippers star Kawhi Leonard is facing murder charges after a vicious attack at the Pachanga Casino. Now the victim's family is talking about the deadly tragedy. NBC4's Rick Montanez is live in Long Beach where he just spoke with the family as new revelations are now coming to light. Rick? Kathy and Jonathan, the victim's family, of course, is still very distraught over everything that's happened over the past week. And they actually tell me they're relatively indifferent over the fact that one of the suspects is related to Clippers star Kawhi Leonard. The family says that their grief right now over the death of the family matriarch, Afaf Assad, is really their focus right now. Assad died Wednesday, three days after she was assaulted inside a restroom at Pachanga Resort Casino in Temecula. Assad was attacked and robbed just minutes after her daughter and son-in-law dropped her and her husband off to spend the day in the casino. Eventually, investigators arrested two women. Both of them are from Moreno Valley, they say. 39-year-old Candice Ty Townsell and 35-year-old Kamisha Monet Williams. They are both charged with robbery and murder. Both women are being held without bail. Assad's family says she was married for over 60 years. She was well-known in Long Beach and had retired from working for L.A. County. We spent three days with her, just hoping and praying that she could make a recovery. And unfortunately, just the nature of the injuries, she, uh, it, it was horrible. By the end, it was horrible. That was her son-in-law, Wayne Brown. He also says he has no hard feelings for Clippers player Kawhi Leonard, who investigators say is related to the suspect, Kamisha Williams, but Leonard has no other connections to this case. Brown hopes Leonard is keeping his family in his thoughts, as his family is doing for them as well. Investigators push for the no-hold bail on the suspects because of the relationship with the Clippers player, considering his multi-million dollar contract with the team and the potential for posting bail for his sister. The family says that brings them some comfort, but of course they say it does not ease their grief. We're live in Long Beach tonight. Rick Montanez, NBC4 News.